Hello, welcome back to another Buddy Fight video. Buddy Jacoby here. Today we're going to be looking at some leaves from the Core Core magazine for Rainbow Striker and X Dual Chest. These sets both come out in December, so if you're looking for a really cool Christmas present, I definitely recommend one of these. Like, these cards look incredible, and Buddy Rare versions right there, bots and gear guy. Now, before we get into that, I quickly just want to go on Freedom Duo right here. I'll leave links to Freedom Duo Buddy Spoiler as well. So, Freedom Duo here, um, you know, the regular information, but they got... Uh, basically scans for the Koro, Mag Koro, Koro Magazine, which leaks um, a lot of these cards and Kasetsu's buddy. Basically, his deck focuses on having multiple items equipped, as you see right here in the manga, and then wielding it, and Gaito, Kanata, Gao being all surprised. Anyways, the cards are here, but the I realize the English translations are a lot better on spoiler, so, on spoiler. so we're gonna look at it on there, and then we'll have a look at Dual Chest. So basically, this has stuff from all the websites, because it leaks for both and both. Again, this isn't a complete set, but without further ado, let's get into it. First off, crazy cards. Heaven, Crystal Dragon, Athora. It's also translated Celestial as well, but you know, this isn't the final translation. Bushiro could always change the English name. Anyways, Star Dragon World, size 3 monster, 8,000 power, 8,000 defense, critical 2. Has your regular Athora effect, um, you know, your regular call cost, 3 gauge, 1 soul. Can't be destroyed by card effects, you can't be dealt damage by card effects, and you know, stuff like that. So, when a card in opponent's field attacks, Pay one gauge to discard a card. So this is the overturn right here, in case you're not following along. Just getting over here. Now this overturn is really, really, um, how do I say this? Annoying. So here it is. I'm going to card your opponent's field attacks. Pay one gauge to discard a card. During this turn, this card cannot be destroyed. All cards your opponent's field must attack alone as many times as possible. Change the attack target of all attacks to this card and deal one damage to your opponent each time this card is attacked with double attack and soul guard. So basically, it's forcing your opponent to attack Athora alone. Basically, like, Athora has just become the ultimate shield. And on top of that, it retaliates with one damage every time you attack. So, the reason this is scary, let's say you have a Thunder Empire formation, let's say from the enemy. Single Sword Dragon, Balbots, Dragon Cross, they all have double attack. And let's say Balbots attacks. You, you, you basically use this overturn, and that's six damage. Like, that's pretty crazy. And then we'll look at the impact later, which can stack even more damage. Like... It basically forces your opponent to have to really think about their actions before they do it because if they're not thinking properly or maybe they get out of field with too many attacks, they can get counterattacked pretty gosh darn. Like, they'll go, like, you basically have to really consider your consequences of your actions basically against prison dragons like this. We haven't even seen all the other crazy spells um, that prison dragons are going to get. Like, they already have Neo Dragon Protector, nullifies the destruction and also gives a counterattack for the turn. You've also got Crystallization, which can rest and destroy monsters, sorry, rest and nullify abilities of monsters in your opponent's field. And, like, Neo Dragons just have crazy stuff, we, sorry, Prism Dragons, and we don't even know if they're getting a new item as well with Double Attack and Solar. So, this Thor is pretty scary. Just to show off what I'm talking about, here it is, Direct Dynamic Dynamic, I can't say it, Direct Dynamic Diamond Overhead. Try saying that ten times fast. Anyways, Star Dragon World, Impact, Prism Dragon. Okay, so you can only cast this card during your opponent's final phase. There's Prison Dragon in your center, you now take damage to strain, you know, just like um, Cristiano Crystal Shoot before. Cast costs pay 4 gauge. Now, the only problem I have with this card, again, I haven't played it, but just seeing that 4 gauge cast cost is already a lot, because, you know, you're already paying 3 for Thora. Um, Prisms do have a lot of really great gauge cards, but definitely having 4 gauge is really, really just tight, because especially you're going to be um, playing a lot of spells to defend Thora or using your overturn, so I'm really curious to see what other stuff comes in the set, but basically, you deal damage to your opponent equal to the number of attacks, um, cards in your opponent's field attack, plus two, this card can't be nullified, damage can't be reduced, your opponent is knocked out by this card, it cannot be changed, their life just cannot be changed, so it's basically game by then. So, basically with this card, let's say your opponent has Thunder in formation, you have a Thor on your field, overturn, your opponent attacks six times, they take six damage, final phase this, that's eight damage right there, can't be nullified, can't be reduced, Again, that's 8 gauge because you have to pay uh, for Athora's call cost, overturn, and this impact. But it's crazy that you can actually one turn kill on your opponent's turn. On top of that, impacts are not once per turn. So if you can somehow use this and like something else as well, because this doesn't have a life limit, which is pretty crazy. So your opponent really has to think about what they want to do. Because if they bring out stuff and get too much attacks, and, but it's also the Prison Dragon player as well that has to decide when they want to bring out that overturn. But yeah, it does really make you think about your moves before you attack the Prison Dragon, which I definitely think will add a little bit of fun to Buddy Fight. Anyway, so that is the crazy Prison Dragons. We've got so many other cards. Just a quick look at this. 2 gauge, can't be destroyed by card effects. 
Um, if you attack three more times, you counteract equip it during like your battle phase. So it's a nice, really cool artwork. I believe it's a promo. Now, Kisetsu, let's have a look at his buddy. I'm sorry if I say this wrong. Correct me if I do. Demon Sling Sword of the King Leviathan. Leviathan? Leviathan? I'm actually not 100% sure. I don't have to like wait for the English dub just to find out how to pronounce that. 10,000 power. So you're going to have no problems taking down walls. You know, that's simple. Critical 2, this card can be your buddy. Hero Weapon Chaos. So yeah, it is Hero Attribute. Here's the twist though. Legend World, of course, obviously. Um, basically, to equip it, you can't have any monsters in your field and pay 2 gauge. This card can't be destroyed by effects. You cannot call monsters. And you can equip any number of monsters. So, as the manga show before, just equip just like 7, 8 items. The equip cost your items in your hand is increased by 1. Now, we haven't heard rulings about this. But, you know, if you have an item that has no equip cost, it's going to go up to it's gonna go up to 1. You know, if your item is 2 gauge, it's going to go up to 3 gauge. So, it is a lot uh, more gauge heavy. But heroes do have a gauge 4 card. Um, overkill during turn, pay 1 gauge discard card for hand. Top 5 cards of the deck into your drop zone and equip up to 3 items from on them without paying their equip cost. Now, there are some crazy items and like combos. Like, Legend World has some pretty decent, surprising um, like items. And like, I'll just quickly go through some of them right here. This one, pretty simple. Tax 2 more hero. It's free gauge, pretty much. Um, also, some of them have equipment gauge at random. I don't think all of them do. This one, you can pay a life point drop zone, nullify the attack. This one, um, it's untranslated what the effect is called, but um, you can basically gauge, gain a life, and draw a card. This one, its attack can't be nullified or reduced, so you got your aggro sword right there. You got this one, one gauge, double attack with equipment change, and you've also got replica sword of the king, um, this as well. And also in the screenshot, if you actually do um, look right here, that is actually Durandale's buddy reversion, and that is uh, Excalibur's a different version as well, so... I'm not too sure in the anime when he's going to use it. Again, we're going to see him use these weapons next episode in the anime. But definitely really interesting to see that you're getting a buddy fight deck with um, just items, basically, as your main focus, which is pretty interesting. It will be a definitely cool play style to see. Something a little bit different, because we had an all-monster deck, right now we're going to be getting basically an all-focused item deck. Again, we haven't seen all the spells and everything for the support, so again, whoops, wrong card. No, finally loaded. Okay, Machine God Sword Leviathan. I'm trying to say that right, okay? So, this is from X Dual Chest. So, 10,000 power critical 2. You know, that's really nice for taking down walls. Reduce this card's equip cost by a number of cards on your field. Equip cost, pay 4 gauge. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects, and it can attack your opponent even if there's a monster on your center. So, basically, um, you got your 10, you got your extra, basically, 10k power, can't be destroyed by card effects. Um, basically, you know, with your gods, um, was it? Chaos Territory ability, you can have 4 monsters in your field and basically equip this card for free, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, um, there's a lot of insane Chaos cards and Thunder Empire, more so Chaos, but let's have a look at some of that. First of all, let's have a look at the stars of the deck. We got Bob Boss of Lightning. So actually, before we get into this, I just want to quickly show this. So here's the box right there. Um, I believe this is the official thing. Again, they could change stuff for the English release. Here it is right here. Um, it says it gives you 20 packs with confirmed content, so I don't know if they're going to do the same thing as the B Golden Buddy Champion box, where they just give you a pre-constructed deck, or, I know, I think it'd be really fun just to open packs, even if you know what you're going to get in them. It's still really cool to see who can get the Buddy Rare, who can build the better deck, so. It does give you the cards, it gives you paper mats, life counters, and storage box. We didn't get any life counters in the English version, things could change, but it's also nice storage as well, so. Just wanted to point that out. Anyways, Thunder Perf sorry. Call cost. Put a Thunder Empire on your field and discard Soul. One gauge. Soul Guard. So that's really nice. Double attack, you know, you, you, usual bots thing. Pretty decent stats. 5k defense. 9k power. Critical 2. Thunder Empire Dragon. So you have 4 life or less. This card gets critical plus 1. So, you know, your classic bots effect. Um, he can be destroyed during your turn, which is something I wish he did have. Sorry. Wish he did have. Yeah. Bots the same sure ability. I'm getting myself confused. Overturn. At the beginning of your attack phase, one gauge and one life. Destroy all cards. Okay. Here it says monsters. On Freedom Duo, it says cards. So I'm going to trust Buddy Spoiler on this because I feel like their English is better than from the team. But again, um, it's nothing's really confirmed until the English release comes out. So basically, it's destroy all cards or monsters. I'm not 100% sure. And deal damage to opponent and equals the number of cards destroyed. Again, this is the like um, alternate bots that you're getting from the X Duel chest. It's still not bad for the fact that you're getting um, it like this and 
that red looks incredible for bots so definitely really cool to see this car oh prototype destroyer god gear god version 0 0.88 size 90 yep now now you realize why the chaos had size up to 99 there's a size 90 gear god 60,000 power 6,000 defense critical of three chaos obviously just like look at the just design the blue background it looks incredible but any number of monsters into this card soul pay three gauge with this card into the field call to one size three or less chaos monster room drops so without paying its call cost so it's kind of like an upgraded version of the original um deck gear god that we got from the trial deck so overkill start off your opponent's attack phase discard a card from your hand destroy all monsters on your opponent's field and gain life equal to the number of monsters destroyed so putting your opponent at disadvantage and putting you at an advantage um, just like the trial deck version, this version does not have um, chaos drain, which basically destroys the size three or less in order to keep it on field. But it does have chaos territory and soul guard, which is really nice. So, yeah, size ninety. That is interesting. There's also the main size um, ninety, like I believe the one that's probably going to be used in the anime that is in Rainbow Striker. But Core Curl did not leak its full abilities, but it does have chaos drain and it is size ninety, if I remember correctly. Anyway, so many more crazy chaos cards. Okay, I'm gonna try and go through these fast as possible. Zodiac, great card. Monsters friend, this card cannot stand. That's kind of scary. Um, and just feel card from drops on his card soul, so it's already getting that soul guard plus gravity rest. So, chaos Zodiac is looking pretty good. Chaos Death Talica. Ooh, this card. Ten thousand power, critical two, three thousand defense. So it's defense on the low side. Double attack on this card will leave the field. You may put three monsters or deep from drops on the bottom of your deck. Video remains on the field, so you can basically use Chaos Territory on this and then keep um, Cal Death Calica alive to keep your Gear God alive, kind of like in a cycle. It's an okay card to me. You could try playing around, try different combos. I understand it's a defensive card for the deck. It's, I guess, just there. Let's see, we've got a Prism Dragon Athora, like a different version. I don't know why. Thunder Crystal Dragon Athora, size three monster. Um, it can be, no, it cannot be, its size can't be reduced, but it's got Prism Dragon, Thunder, Empire, 2 gauge top card deck, you can get some interesting defense and power with move, double attack, and soul guards, so, that move and double attack is definitely pretty nice. We've also got this card right here, Thunder God, Dragon, Emperor, Dual Seeger, Thunder Empire, Dragon Lord, any number of different field, 2 gauge, attacks, gauge 2, and, uh, top card of your, wait, yeah, sorry, top 2 cards of your deck into your job zone, and top card deck into your gauge. Um, let's go ahead drop some for your field, call monster from your hand by paying his call double tax, so guard lightning too, so, interesting, you're getting some size 2s, okay, I kind of want to get to the impacts, here it is, it is size 90, we got some stuff, but you know, not the whole effect and art of gear god, it was leaked, and I'm pretty sure that's basically about it, there's Ibuki, nothing too special, it's like destruction effects, um, got an interesting Abigail here, which can reduce the size to 2, it's also got move, and when it's this field, you can destroy all monsters your opponent's field, which is definitely interesting. So, the trial deck, sorry, not the trial deck, the X dual chest is definitely a great thing. The fact that it comes with two decks, and you're getting buddy rare foils, and the current is absolutely amazing. Like, I would definitely take those two decks and just play with them just for hours, literally. Like, they're really interesting cards, and like, um, you know, just to see these new stuff, and to be able to get, like, a pretty decent deck for, like, your money, is really cool to see. So, that's awesome, Bushy Road. Answered our calls. Now this card, Command Code Force Restart. Yes, Chaos has a second impact, and it's pretty gosh darn scary. Darkness Dragon World, Chaos Chaos Four Gauge. Another reason to run Chaos Aquario. It is really costly. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you already saw that Gear God um, from this X Dual Chest, the blue one, that is um, size 93 gauge. But you pay 4 gauge, you stand all chaos on your field, and you get another attack phase. So that includes your items, your two monsters in your center, and your left and right. So, again, it's really heavy. I'm probably going to say it's hard to pull off because, um, unless they give you some crazy um, gauge card in chaos. But it's definitely an interesting card, especially to see an X dual chest. Interesting. That's all I'm going to say. Raging Thunder Sword, Fierce X Tempest. Dragon World Impact Thunder Empire. You only cast card opponents 5 life or less. You are equipped with Thunder Empire item, Chaos Chaos by 3 gauge, deal damage you want to equal to the number of different worlds in your drop zone. Really interesting, because you're getting some offensive cards, but you're also getting movers as well. And Overturn Thunder Empire Trial Deck is definitely coming as well. So you, if you get that, I'm um, sorry, Thunderous Warlos, the Trial Deck, and combine this with the X Dual Chest, you could definitely make some interesting decks. But I really like how they're giving the Chaos cards 
and it is confirmed that um, there is going to be a Mirage backing. I don't think it's going to be in the trial deck. I believe it's only for SBU Secrets, but I don't remember um, if it was confirmed now. So don't take my word for it. But definitely, these cards are absolutely insane. Again, I'll leave links to all of these websites in the description below. And if you guys do want to see um, some of this, maybe some gameplay of these cards, just because um, I've been talking with the unofficial updater, Matt, for a bit. Um, they're working really hard to making an unofficial update with these cards. So if you guys do want to see some gameplay, maybe some vid videos with Matt, um, if you guys do want to see that, testing out some of these cards with Buddy Fight Area, do tell me. If you guys want to learn how to play Buddy Fight Area, um, I can probably make a video for that. I was really thinking about it, or just playing Buddy Fight in general. And also, if you guys want to talk to some other Buddy Fighters, link in the description below to the Buddy Fight Discord. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love to hear from you guys what you think of these new cards. Pretty insane, pretty interesting, pretty special, really cool combos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Buddy Shigobi signing out.